This is how you turn on the lathe machine. This is the head of the lathe machine. This lever right here can change the rotation of your workpiece. You can either spin it clockwise or anti-clockwise. These three levers are used to adjust the speed of the lathe machine. Now, right currently, this the machine will be operating at 475 RPM. This right here is the turning slide. It moves the carriage left and right. This is the cross slide. When you rotate it clockwise, it moves the carriage upwards. And when you rotate it anti-clockwise, it moves it downwards towards me. This is an automatic feature of the lathe machine. When it is in this position, the carriage moves by itself. And when you take it to this position, it is back in manual mode. This is the true chuck. This is where you fit your workpiece. The workpiece fits between these jaws of the chuck. This right here is the glass window. It prevents the chips from reaching my face or other body parts. This is the tail stock. This is the revolving center and this is where other tools can also be fixed as per requirement. This is actually used to align the tool. This over here is used to drill or bore. This is where the drill bit or the boring tool is fixed. This goes right here. And then you can use this to move it and drill your workpiece. The other things over here are, this is the lock. It prevents this from moving. When you free it, it can move easily. And this is the lock which allows the tailstock to move left and right. When it is locked, the tailstock cannot move. See? This is the spindle. It is used for finer cuts and the last cuts. This over here is the tool post. The tool is fixed over here. I I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is the tool post and this tool over here is used to loosen and set the tool post on its position now you tighten it up this is at a 90 degree so you can actually turn your workpiece using this angle but when you're facing you'll have to turn it a bit more than 90 90 uh, 95 or 100 so now we fix the tool the tool is left a one inch out of the tool post we have to tighten the screws right now using this tool over here and we really have to make sure that the tool is very tight otherwise the tool might come out or might damage the workpiece or even your hands so right now the tool is fixed and now I can turn my workpiece now comes the first and most important part of using the lathe machine is aligning this tool according to the revolving center so basically what we have to do is we have to touch both the pointy edges and that is what I'm doing over here now the tool is aligned as you can notice both the sharp tips are touching each other now we have to fix the workpiece in the through chuck. The tool is used to loosen this, which I've already done. And now the same tool is used to tighten the jaws of the chuck. Make sure the tool is tight, otherwise it can affect the quality of the product. Now we will turn on the lathe machine. Now I'm putting the machine into second gear. The tool has started to rotate, you can notice. Now we will face the workpiece. Make sure the glass window is in front of your face to prevent the hot chips. the workpiece first we have to give it a slight touch so we can mark it see as our reference point which is zero you can notice the tool has touched the workpiece J 
gently rotate this dial over here. The slower it rotates, the better the finishing of the product. You can notice. The rest is going away and the shiny edge or the shiny face of the work piece can be seen clearly. There. Now we have successfully faced our work piece. Now we will be doing some turning. So for that we will be using the turning slide or we could also use the spindle right over here for more finer and smoother cuts. I am turning on the lathe machine now. First I will be touching the tool with the workpiece to mark my zero on the dial. There you go. You can see how the chips are flying. It's a good thing I've kept my glass window on my side. It prevents it from reaching my hands. The spindle can also be used to turn the workpiece. You can notice that the spindle moves very slowly. Okay, so now that we've turned our workpiece, this is the result. Be careful, the workpiece can be hot after operating for long periods of time. Now to further finish my product, I'll be using sandpaper. You can see the tool is becoming more shinier and the lines that can be seen are reducing. Be careful not to touch the revolving part of the lathe, otherwise you will be going to a hospital. Now this is what I have finished after using the sandpaper. And one more safety feature of this lathe machine is when I open this.